What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit subscribe, join Ninja Nation. You're not going to want to miss my next interview guest. I'll tell you who it is in a little bit. And without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Mike Clevenger, who didn't have a great outing, but he did prove to be a multitasking king, getting his steps in while throwing this wicked slider. And here's an overlay of his 95 mile an hour fastball and his slider. No doubt a tough combo. Sunshine was outdueled by Logan Gilbert, who only gave up one earned run in five and a third innings, but Gilbert only had one strikeout, which was disappointing if you took those long odds and had him for eight or more strikeouts. Wah, wah. Adrian Martinez had five Ks in five innings thanks to these nasty change-ups. Ryan Pepio also had some pretty sick change-ups for the Dodgers. Check these out. Austin Voth threw this curveball that sent Adolis Garcia into full cartoon fall mode, like a cartoon character falling on ice. Or like Fred Sanford having one of those I'm coming Elizabeth heart attacks. Hilarious. Nick Lodolo had these insane sliders, striking out eight in four and two-thirds innings. Look at these things. They're absolutely unhittable. Lodolo shared his slider grip with me, and here it is. Lodolo was outdueled by Max Scherzer, who returned from injury with 11 strikeouts in six innings, thanks to these wicked sliders, cutters, and his overpowering fastball. And check out this 97-mile-an-hour absolute dart he throws. Hitting his spot perfectly with 97. And he had his patented K struts back. Pretty much Mad Max at his best. I just love his energy, although sometimes too much energy. Like right here, when he tries to catch this fly ball that is basically right at first base. Max Scherzer has no chill. But my filthiest starting pitcher of the day was Sandy Alcantara. He outdueled Thor, who had eight strikeouts in five innings. Sandy had 10 Ks in eight innings and was just absolutely dominant. He had a 101 mile an hour two seamer that ran 20 inches. Look at the movement on this at 101 miles an hour. And then check out these other sinkers and his changeup movement. This 94 mile an hour changeup dives to the dirt at 94 miles an hour. That changeup is faster than a lot of pitchers' fastballs and has that movement on it. And look at this front door 99 mile an hour two seamer getting the jump back on a pitch that definitely catches a plate. Sandy Alcantara is a horse. In fact, he's thrown more innings in his last 11 starts than any other 11 start streak since Clayton Kershaw back in 2014. Sandy is the clear front runner for the NL Cy Young and is going to be hard to catch because of all the innings he throws. It just makes him that much more valuable. Here are the current FanDuel odds for NL Cy Young. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Jareel Cotton had these sick change-ups. Tyler Batsick made this behind-the-back play. Check that out. It may remind you of the no-look double play he turned last year. That play is what Rich Hill wanted to do, except Rich Hill's arms were 25 feet too short. And coincidentally, both these guys are nicknamed legends, Tyler Nutsack and Dick Mountain. I tell people all the time, like, yes, I promise you I've practiced that many times. And people go, no, that you don't. You're an idiot. Why are you lying? <laughs> Me and my buddy would do, a, uh, do the bucket together, and we'd have a competition on who could make the coolest catch, basically. Go between our legs, behind our backs, behind our heads, just a whole bunch of different things, whatever we could do. As dumb as that sounds, it like actually really improved my glove skills and just like my body awareness. Colin McHugh had this painted backdoor slider with 18 inches of break. Jackson Stevens had this breaking ball that had 3,117 RPMs. Look at that thing go. Dylan Tate had these vicious change-ups. Luis Garcia had this overpowering 101 mile an hour fastball. Check out these vicious sliders from Evan Phillips getting a couple of swords. Bruce Star Gratterall had this six sinker slider combination and here's an overlay of those two. That's not fair. And lastly, Andres Munoz had this 102 mile an hour fastball and these wicked sliders. Before we get into my moment of zen, 
I told you I would tell you who my next interview is, and it's freaking amazing. I'll be interviewing Nolan Ryan, so make sure you hit subscribe. You're not going to want to miss it. And be sure to check out the Facing Nolan documentary, which is going to have snippets of my interview in it as well. Of course, I picture myself interviewing Nolan Ryan like Chris Farley interviewed Paul hey, McCartney. Uh, remember when you uh, were in the, the Beatles and uh, you did that um, album, Abbey Road? And now my Pitchy Ninja moment of zen. This blooper definitely fell in for a hit. What is up, Ninja Nation? My pick of the day today is for David Peterson to have eight strikeouts or more. Here's the current line. Peterson had 10 Ks his last outing and 8 Ks the outing before that, and his slider's been really good. So, can he get 8 Ks or more against the Reds? I think he can. What would be your pick of the day? <laughs>